there, Lady Ember here. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Tips for a Magical Life. Today, we are talking about setting aside quiet time every day for you. Now, <laughs> okay, as I begin to talk about this, it's 4.30 in the morning, which is honestly my favorite time of day, guys, okay? I still have at least an hour and a half before everybody starts moving around and the phones start ringing and at least an hour before anyone asks me to do anything outside of my dog. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I already know he's cool at this time of the morning. He's sitting outside enjoying the beautiful night air. Now this time for me is absolutely perfect. Because it's silent outside and I'm in complete solitude. There's something rejuvenating and peaceful about being alone and having some time to reflect, work, or simply enjoy the quiet. Guys, I've been working in stress management fields for a long time. I've been a life coach for a long time. I've been a hypnotherapist and a psychic for a long time time. And I can honestly tell you, I have met some extraordinary people in my lifetime. I can't think of a single person whom I would consider to be inwardly peaceful, who doesn't carve out at least a little quiet time virtually every day. Okay. A lot of my friends will sit and meditate. Morning meditations is a great thing to do. Like me, I'll get up, I'll do my gratitudes, and then I'll do my morning meditations, and then I'll record these videos for you guys, because it's my quiet time. Maybe you do yoga, or tai chi, qui gong. Maybe you spend some time in nature, or lock the bathroom door, and take 10 minutes for yourself, because that's the only place you can have a little peace and quiet. And um, those of us with small children or spouses or anyone in our life that doesn't understand that will be knocking on the door going, hey, hey, I need you. And I get that. Okay. I do. Or if you live in a one bathroom house, you know, hey, I need the bathroom. Right. I'll be out in a minute. I'm taking time for me. Okay. Like spending time alone, it does help to balance the noise and confusion that infiltrate much of our day. I set aside quiet time for myself every several hours. So I'll do six hours of some interactive thing, and then I'll go do some quiet time for me. And I'll do some more interactive things. And then I'll go do some quiet time for me. Because it makes the rest of my day seem manageable. When I don't, I really, really notice the difference. There's a little ritual that I do that I've shared with many friends, many clients over the years. Like many people, I drive to and from my office on a daily basis. On the way home from work, I get as close to my driveway as I want. Okay? I pull my car over and I stop. Honestly, there's a nice spot where I can spend a minute or two looking at the view of my house or just closing my eyes and breathing. I'm safe. I'm secure. It slows me down and helps me feel centered and grateful. Now, I've shared this strategy with dozens of people who used to complain about having no time for quiet. Then they would speed into their driveways with the radio blaring in their ears. Now, with a simple shift in their actions, they enter their homes feeling much more relaxed, much more peaceful, much more grateful. Guys, carving out a little bit of time for yourself every day, that quiet time where you can be grateful, where you can be peaceful, is important. Start today to do that doesn't have to be much, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you can do. But make it consistent. Make it a habit. Do it for you. 
And I promise you're going to be living a more magical life in no time. Make sure that you've liked and subscribed so that you don't miss an episode and you learn how to live a magical life quickly and easily. Love and light, peace and progress. Until next time, my friends, Lady Ember out.